Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 10th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the U.S. indices and the water day. So... These are kind of the days where you, well, well, traders basically earn money. So we have fallen um, not as far as in the S&P 500 as we have done in the NASDAQ. As you can see, most of the tech stocks are in massive red at this moment, especially Tesla down 6%. We have Netflix down 3%. We have, for example, Apple, Amazon, and also Google all down 2.5% nearly. So... Of course, Nasdaq is down nearly 3% at this point, but S&P 500 has not fallen as far. So we're down 0.86% and we are closing in to the 200 moving average. And of course, the closer we get to the 200 moving, uh, the, the 20 exponential moving average, sorry, the closer that we get to that, the better the buying opportunity. So the technical in, and, uh, indicators for the S&P 500 are turning around. We are no longer overbought. MACD is turning around, Stochastic is turning around, and so is the CCI. And we're most likely heading towards the 20 exponential. And that is roughly here. That's 3,600. That will most likely be the floor for the S&P 500. And uh, we'll see buyers come back in to, uh, to, uh, to basically buy this on the cheap. Of course, if the, S if the 20 exponential uh, does not hold, then we have the 40 exponential right underneath at 3,554, and that is probably as far as we will go. That is the previous highs here. We have the 40 exponential, and we also have to take out these previous highs here. So this area here will be significant support, and it is highly unlikely that we'll go lower than that. So the lower this gets, the more technically better opportunity or the cheaper it is to buy. We are in uptrend and these pullbacks, even as major as this one, they continue to grow. So just pullbacks, go, go. And smaller, smaller pullbacks like this one are also buying opportunities. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is down 0.43%, so not that much. We are trading in a very, very tight range here of roughly the 20 exponential moving average, which is at uh, 29,656 and then 40,319. So when we break above here, we are going towards uh, 31,000. Uh, if we break below this, then we are heading towards the 20 exponential, 40 exponential, sorry, at 21,120. I don't think that we are going to see those levels. Uh, the lowest uh, I see the Dow Jones going at this point is the 20 exponential and in worst case scenario, these previous highs here. And that is just above the 40 exponential. So the lower this gets, that is basically buying opportunity, basically buying this cheap and targeting higher levels. That is the name of this game. So let's look at the NASDAQ because that is the, probably the most interesting one. So as you can see, we have fallen 2.15%. We were down at least 2.5% uh, um, uh, earlier on, and uh, and we have pulled back a little bit now, but but this is a massive fall. We see these occasionally, for example, here, here, and also here. But at this point, the 20 exponential has been significant support, and it is fairly unlikely that we'll cross the 20 exponential. These technical indicators are turning around. We are no longer overbought. We are 69. So we may see this fall. So what I usually do is that I buy basically chunk of this. So this can turn around at any point. You can basically rally from here back to the half and also become positive, uh, even though the, there's only a few minutes left of trading. But this was an entry point. These previous, uh, or this is an entry point here, these previous highs. We haven't got down to 12,268. Uh, if we get down there, probably, maybe. Um, at the moment, we have found support here, which are the previous lows over here. 
But if this breaks, then of course, we are going to these uh, previous highs. And as you can see, it's just above the 20 exponential. I think that we will turn around here and head back towards these previous highs here. So my target is to buy the lower discounts, buy small amounts of, of uh, NASDAQ, and then target 40,000, because that is where we are going in the basically in the, in the short run, because this usually rallies. The reason why we are falling here is due to Brexit, appreciation of the dollar, and also a stimulus talk in the United States. And to be fairly honest, I think that talks in Europe, will they will end up with a solution. Uh, the dollar will start depreciating again when it runs into the 20 exponential. Um, and the stimulus package, there is going to be some kind of stimulus. Um, and uh, that will be announced probably just before Christmas. So, so, um, so expect this to pull back when we get to the 20 exponential. However, if we break the 20 exponential, then we have the 40 exponential here. And then we'll go much lower. We're going to 11,983 at this point. And then we have the 50 uh, moving average right underneath. And that will be absolutely ground zero at this stage. So let's look at some of these tech stocks. And they have fallen quite drastically. So Netflix found resistant here at 518. Roughly that's a little bit higher than that. Roughly 521. And now we're heading back towards 482. That is almost a certainty that we will run into the 150 moving average right here, and then we'll rally from there. We The technical indicators for Net, uh, Netflix are looking dreadful at this point, so expect this to go lower before we go higher. So we are basically in this range now. I was expecting this to go to the all-time highs here, as this is... Um, as the coronavirus is getting worse and people are staying more at home and it's holiday season, uh, but we did not see that effect. So we may see it later on this month, but at the moment we did not see that effect, which I was expecting to see. So let's see, uh, look at uh, Microsoft. Microsoft has found support here at the 100 moving average. If that breaks, we're going to $208 a share. Uh, technical indicators for Microsoft's uh, stock are looking dreadful. MACD has crossed the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. The CCI is under uh, zero. And uh, yes, if this 100 moving average does not hold, then we're going to these lows. And if those don't hold, then we go to the 150 moving average at $206 a share. So the lower this gets, basically the buyer, the 150 should be the absolute bottom of this market. So let's look at Apple. Apple's down 2%. Uh, we rallied to, towards to 126, found the resistance there, and then we are heading towards the uh, uh, 20 exponential moving average at 120. If we look at the technical indicators for this, MACD is turning around, stochastic has crossed the signal line, and uh, CCI is also turning around. So expect this to go lower. We may run into major support here at 20 but it's most likely that we'll go to the 40 and the 50 before we turn around in this market. The absolute lows for, for Apple is this 100 moving average here at $115 a share. So if we get down there, I'll be all in to buy this. So let's look at Amazon. Amazon has a broken, um, we can just get rid of this, well, it find, it's finding support here at uh, 3,995. Uh, and if that breaks, we're heading towards the 150 moving average. And 150 is right at 3,013. So around 3,000, that would be a very round number. We'll definitely find major uh, support here. But if we look at the technical indicators, they are turning around. Stochastic has been falling for a few days. MACD is starting to cross the signal line. We are getting into oversold territory uh, within the next two days if this continues. So we'll most likely see a turnaround in this area here and head back up. Uh, the CCI is also very bearish at this point, And so is the Bollinger Band is looking very dreadful at this stage as well. So the lower, basically the, the, the better the buy. 
get down towards 150 at 3013 that is uh, probably the bottom of this market so let's look at tesla so it was fairly about time for tesla to to fall and even though we fell uh, roughly seven percent today it was down here that's roughly well we were almost 10 percent according to this uh, but now at the moment we're at 6.5 um, even though we fell this much today we are still overbought so that just just keep that in mind that uh, tesla was significantly overbought and and it is basically correcting itself down towards the 20 exponential uh, which uh, will most likely be significant support that is at 553 at this point so technical indicators are turning around the stochastic has crossed the signal line the cci is becoming negative and also the, the macd is is uh, looking very bearish and so is the cci the rsi so the lower this gets if you can get all the way down to the the, the 20 exponential that is a definitely buy we can target the very highs here and that's roughly 19.7 percent and that's a major um that's an absolute fantastic trade if you if it gets down to the 20 exponential so let's look at facebook so um this is absolutely if you could if you the people that basically bought it here did an absolute bargain so i can get it get this away and uh, we can see that at the 100 moving average that should be the bottom of this market we can see we tested it here and here and all the way back here the closer that we get to the 100 moving average the better to buy for uh, facebook stock that is at this point 268 we're at 278 so the closer that we get to this uh, price level here well you won't get it cheaper than that at this stage you can just see how often we have tested the 100 moving average and we have bounced from it every single time so that is where i will enter if i enter this market you look at the technical indicators the macd is turning around stochastic has crossed the line signal line and uh, the rsi and cci are also looking fairly bearish at this point so definitely a buy-in if you get to the 100 moving average no interest in basically shorting this at all so google this is probably the best trade uh, one of the best trades out there and we have crossed the signal line here at uh, well, now we're testing the 200 not sorry the 20 exponential moving average um at roughly 1770 and of course if that breaks then we're heading down towards the 40 exponential moving average we were we have been rallying significantly in in google stock for a very long time now it has been rallying at 31 percent and uh, now we're getting to levels that it, where you can basically enter to buy this again so we may see this fall further but it is becoming cheaper um, and i would guess that buyers will step in at the 20 exponential moving average i would not be surprised if we have a little bit of pullback at the end of the session even though these technical indicators are looking fairly bearish at this point uh, this is uh, most likely a stock that people are going to uh, start buying really soon so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much Thank you.